everyone, Miss Karen here with the last little scientist where we will be discovering things about our five senses. Now this month we are going to be looking at our sense of sound. What do we use to hear things with? That's right, our ears. When something makes a sound, like maybe the sound of my voice coming out of your computer or a phone speaker, it sends vibrations into the air and towards our ears. Now there's something in, way inside our ears called an eardrum. When those vibrations from the sounds reach our eardrum, it vibrates too and sends signals right up to our brains, which tells us that we are hearing sounds. Our bodies are so cool. Now, can you usually see or hear these vibrations? Not all the time, but I have a couple of experiments that are gonna help us do just that. Now, I have here a spoon, a regular old metal spoon, and I have two different kinds of cups. I have a metal cup and I have a plastic water bottle. Now let's see what happens when we tap them. So this is a hard metal cup. Wow. That sound was very sharp and clear and pretty loud. Hmm, let's do it one more time. Now, I can kind of, if I touch the cup very lightly, ooh, it made a different sound from where I was holding it. Now, adults, help your little hold the cup very lightly. You should be able to feel the vibrations. Really cool. Let's try out our other cup. Here is our plastic bottle. It's, it's not hard, it's squishy. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, that has a very different sound, doesn't it? Can you hear that? And I can't feel that one as much. It makes kind of a dull sound. What do you think? Adults, in uh, your packet, there's a sheet and it has some great words to describe sound. When you're doing these experiments, try to use them. It's how your little will learn and get a bigger vocabulary. Now, you can do this with stuff all around the house. You can use something different like a stick to hit stuff with, and you can use pots and pans. Just remember, our littles only hit things that your adults say is okay. Got it? Awesome. Our next experiment is to see sound waves. I have here a small but mighty speaker and a pan with rice on top. Watch what happens when I put the pan on top of the speaker. The vibrations of the music move from the speaker into the pan and into the rice, making the rice dance. In your kits is a seemingly random objects. Now, what if I told you that you can use everything in your kit to make your own musical instruments and different sounds? They are! It's really cool. Now, everything that you are about to see, um, you may not have all of these things in your kits, but they are things that a lot of people have around the house.
So let's see what we can make. Our first instrument is used with a box. This one is a tall tissue box and some rubber bands of different sizes that all make different sounds. Now, if you have two plastic spoons and an egg, now my egg is filled with rice, but you can use hard pasta, you can use bird food, you can even use little Legos. And see how nicely, oh, yeah, it's a little bit better this way, how nicely it fits. Ta-da. And it's a little hard to do this one-handed. <laughs> but you have a maraca. Now all you have to do is tape this up so that it's easy to hold on to. <laughs> you can use washi tape or duct tape or regular scotch tape, whatever you want to use. Now here we have different size straws. What I did was I put the tape down on the table and I laid out my straws. And at this time, they were all the same size. Then you're gonna cut the straws at an angle. This one got a little bit sharp, so you might have to cut the tip of that. But now you have a little flute that you can blow into and it'll make different sounds. And next we have a drum. Now, I grabbed a glass dish and a balloon, and I'm gonna show you with this cup kind of how I did that. So first, I cut really close, oops, sorry, really close to the end there, because I didn't know how much my balloon, I would need my balloon to stretch. Now adults, your littles may need some help with this one. You're gonna stretch the balloon over top, whatever you're using. You can use an aluminum can, different cups, things like that. Once you've got it on there, you're gonna want it on nice and tight because it's gonna give you a better sound. And I also suggest adding some rubber bands around the end kind of try to keep it there. If you can, get it around there twice or have a couple of rubber bands because eventually, after all the drumming, this will start to slip up and it might fly off. Oh dear. Now, with our paper plates, you can add a bell to it. You can string some beads. Just put some holes on the ends and you have a tambourine. Or you can get another one, glue the edges and put again some rice or some bird seed or some dried noodles. And you can seal the outside, maybe with a stapler or some glue. And then you have a different kind of tambourine to drum on. Hey! I hope to hear you about you guys playing lots of music when you come by and say hi in the library. See you guys later!